Periodontitis and periimplantitis are infectious diseases which are attributed to special groups of bacteria. These marker bacteria actively destroy the periodontal soft and bony tissue and cause massive inflammatory reactions, which ultimately lead to the loss of natural teeth and implants. For successful long-term treatment, targeted measures to combat these bacteria are of crucial importance. Marker bacteria analyses with MicroIDent and MicroIDent Plus provide information on the presence and concentration of 5 and 11 of the most aggressive periodontal pathogenic bacteria, as well as their affiliation with bacterial complexes. The test results are the optimal foundation for individualized treatment planning. The information provided allows you to select adjuvant antibiotics to determine reasonable recall intervals and to document therapeutic success. Taking a specimen for marker bacterial analysis is very simple. It can be done quickly, painlessly and at low cost in the dental office. Depending on the clinical picture, you may choose from two different forms of analysis. If you wish to determine the presence of PA bacteria in the entire periodontium, independent of the location of the bacteria, a pool specimen is recommended. In this case, specimens are taken from the deepest gingival pockets of each quadrant. Up to five paper points can be combined together in the transport tube with the red end cap. In other cases, such as the presence of local recurrence or residual pockets, it may be useful to determine the bacterial load of individual gingival pockets. For such an analysis of individual sites, specimens are taken using one paper point per sulcus. Up to four individual site tests per patient can be requested in one order. In order to avoid specimen mix-ups, the tubes are color-coded. Assign each specimen site a color-coded tube and note this on the order form. Prior to taking specimens, the supragingival plaque must first be removed with a sterile curette and the specimen site must be dried with sterile cotton swabs. This ensures that the result is accurate and that the paper points pick up only the subgingival specimen material. Moderate bleeding does not affect the specimen or the result. However, specimens should not be taken from very suppurative pockets. In the case of a pool specimen, the specimen is taken from the deepest or the most inflamed gingival pocket of each quadrant. At each specimen site, one paper point is inserted to the bottom of the sulcus using sterile forceps. Let the paper point sit at each specimen site for at least 10 seconds. Place the paper points with the point facing forwards into the transport tube with the red cap. Up to five paper points can be combined together in the transport tube with the red cap. Note the date on which the specimen was taken, the patient's maximum pocket depth, as well as the specimen sites on the order form. Place the transport tube and the completed order form together in the blue shipping box and mail these in the self-addressed postage paid envelope. Within a few days you will receive the analysis result report.
You can download the result report from the customers section of our website or it can be sent via email or fax. Do you have any additional questions? Please don't hesitate to contact us at any time using our toll-free number.